Hey, what's up, YouTube? Alf here with a little more Halloween Cup GBL uh, from the very first night where we streamed live on Twitch. We stream uh, our battles live almost every day of the week. You can find the link down below, so come check us out for those. Um, we're still having a lot of success, and we've continued even through uh, the next day having a lot of success with this team. We play with a few viewer teams, give some viewers advice. We run some Pokemon that I'm not super thrilled about, uh, but have a pretty good time along the way. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope Halloween Cup is going well for you. Uh, let me know how the meta as it changes is, is treating you in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content here on the channel. It helps us a ton if you do that. So I really do appreciate those of you who take advantage and do that every week. So everybody, thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the battles and I'll see you next time. It's going well so far. We got another uh, viewer team. Let's see if we can get a win with it against Rod Estrella. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. All right, we got Marowak and uh, an Azumarill. <laughs> uh, hey, what do you do against the Azumarill lead? I guess we switch to our own Azumarill. Like I. Okay. It's fine because we're going to just ice beam them and uh, not commit a shield to this matchup. Yeah. That's your best case scenario here. You're not going to win this matchup when shields get into play. So if I can come out of this matchup up a shield, I feel pretty good. All right. Bye, Waterboy. I think that's our best case scenario, right? Okay. That extra, that extra move is a little bit of a bummer, but... Um... Yeah, I actually think so, like, I actually do want the running start here, right? You never saw an Azu lead, uh, friend. If you don't have a plan for the most common Pokemon in the meta as the lead, I think maybe the team needs to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> like, I mean, if we can get, we could get, uh, what's it called? Uh, discharged from here, which is not great. I'm just going to have to ride Crustle, I think. They lunged twice. Okay, well, in that case... I guess we're going to do this. I got to get I have to, I mean I have to get out of there basically. So. Yeah, bro tiger, you, then your sample size is too small. What what and the answer is also what's your plan still? Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean you don't you like what's your plan? You you didn't you didn't plan for an Azu lead? <laughs> Like, what would you do? Because that's like the first thing you do is like, you look at the most common five Pokemon on the meta and go, how do I beat this as a lead? Right? That would be like absolutely what I do. You switch into Azu and hope for the best. Yeah, that like, to me, that's not, not where I want to be in this meta. Yeah, we're going to lose. We're going to lose with two shields just as a, just as an aside. So GG's. Uh, Algernon, we've seen, we've seen some Azu leads. It's all right, bro, Tiger. I'm just, I'm just saying you, because you, I, you actually, you know, ask for my advice on teams all the time. That's my first piece of advice. If the most common Pokemon in the meta led against you, smashes your team, <laughs> then you need to reconsider s some component of the team, right? Some component of the team. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna run back to this because our, our plan is to just trap Azus and win from there. So let's just keep doing it. <laughs> It's been working okay. Uh, Pluto Mayhem. Lag is almost never an issue for me. Every now and then it's an issue, but like, frankly, most of the time, my first couple GBL sets every day are lag free. Like 99%. All right, like Hatch, our next opponent. You should not swap. Ugh, that seems terrible. But you're probably right. All right, Wiggly. So not the lead we're looking for. Obviously, we take a lot of charm damage here. So, but what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and get this Sludge Bomb off on him. We probably didn't even need to throw Sludge Bomb. Um, and then we'll just get out of here. Our whole team is decent against this. So let's get the, uh, let's get the Azumarill in. We're up a shield. So we do have some play here. Plus the charge moves out of Azu do almost nothing to us. So... If we can stay up a shield, 
um tenta can do a lot of work like basically i don't really care if we get farmed out or we get killed here and farmed out because tenta is going to come in and just obliterate this thing in fact the more health it has in some cases the better like we'd almost rather it have close to full health or totally full health but that's okay if they if they shield this that's our best case scenario nope they didn't shield that's fine there's still there's still a couple hits which is gonna look really good You, that's that's fair Karch. I, I think that i think you are correct there we could also bring the tentacruel in or the uh you know what hold up i'm gonna get this dead before before anything bad happens so let's uh i mean we're getting another charge move off i can't imagine they're shielding this and then we'll get a running start with uh lol <laughs> Okay, what's the last Pokemon and can we... Oh, it's a Mawile. This will be fun. Luckily, we take no damage from basically anything the Mawile does. So, I think we're pretty okay here to just Hydro Pump twice. Yeah? I mean, do I even shield? Real question, do I even shield? Of course I shield, but... Time to bait with Hydro Pump? Yes, we're baiting. And by baiting, I mean, I just think there's no reason, to, like if we throw, I guess they're both neutral, aren't they? So I guess we don't even need to throw Hydro Pump. Well, <laughs> GG's. <laughs> they were hoping for Acid Spray. We, we don't have that move. GG's. No one, there's shield still. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No one needs to use those. Poison, oh, you're right. Poison is still resisted. It's single resisted. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's go again. Hey, go sleep. Uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. All right, JJ Sentinel. Rocket balloons or drift limbs? I've not seen a drift limb yet. I've not seen any drift limbs yet. All right, Toxy and Azumarill. So here's that Azumarill lead we were talking about. So basically, I'm very happy in this case to just basically go straight sludge bombs and try and get shield advantage. I'm not gonna shield this, although it's gonna hurt, probably. I just wanna get shield advantage if I can. And if they don't shield, that's also fine. There's the shield. The question is, can I get to another sludge bomb before they get me dead with bubble? I can't. But maybe I can get another shield out of him. It's unfortunate. I could have gone for it, but I feel like I was dead. I feel like I'm dead right after this move, so. Right? Yep. So I wouldn't have got it. That's fine. And now we just bring this in and ignore whatever they throw at us, right? Like, yeah. Throw any charge move you want. Literally any move you want is fine. My best case scenario for this is that they just stay. Nope, they actually switched out. Oh, actually, that was a bad swap. I just assumed something that was incorrect. Forgive me. Forgive me, game. <laughs> I was in a rhythm. I was in a rhythm. Whoops. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, not good. <laughs> not, 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 not what we were looking to do. So we're gonna, we're gonna die here. And then we just have to uh, make the best out of out of our shield advantage here if we can. The lag is real. So lull cam, nice, nice. That does not that does not hit as hard as I would have liked. Well, we know that we blank the Azu still, right? We know that we blank the Azu. Crustal, Azu, Galvantula's been most of your games. Uh, a lot of ours, too. There's the Crustal. Okay. So, yeah. We're, I think I think that... Uh, we were going to have a hard time with this one anyway. I should have baited with the, uh, the Toxie. I should have baited with the Toxie. But that's okay. I really don't like shielding first in that matchup. Okay. 
That's kind of our out. <laughs> our kind of our out was to uh, have them just take that for no reason. GG's. Uh, we would have struggled a little bit in that one, I think, anyway. I don't know. Crustal's not been an issue for me, Ghost Sleeve. Like, we've, we've beaten most of the Crustals we've seen. Unfortunately, that that one, that met, that was not, not great for us. That was not great for us. We're just hoping not to see an Umbreon. No one has, no one has a uh, Mandibuzz. Yeah, Jeff Jeffrey, you are, you have a, a odd string of luck then, because, because Drifflin is terrible. It really is. Try Nido King with Iron Tail. I don't, I do not have that. Yeah. Or Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz would also be bad. Basically, if there's a proper dark type on this team, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble. So. All right. Yuko, let's go. Let's go. Galvantula or Crustal lead, please. And that's how we have a chance. Haunter, also fine. Because, well, this matchup isn't like a slam dunk. <laughs> we are going to win. We are going to win from here. Because they're not going to get two shadow punches off. They are going to get a shield, which I don't like, but like... Okay, they actually came in with this. So this is actually good for us. They did bring this in. So we can get Tentacruel in here. I, I, I shouldn't have even thrown this by realistically. Hey, what's up, Maxi? How you doing? Hey, whack. Jeff Jeffrey, how do you beat a, a Zoomerl with your team? <laughs> hey, yo! Tenorexen with the Twitch Prime resub. Roll that beautiful butt footage. And let's see those butts in chat. We actually got a shield. I, I, I'm actually shocked we got a shield with Azazu. I have no idea why they shielded that. No idea. But I think they did not know what my moves were. You want my honest answer? I don't think they knew what moves I had. I don't think they knew what moves I had. And I think that's that's why we got a shield. So we're going for the full farm here, by the way. Farm them all the way. I hope I don't die to a hydro pump here. Please don't hydro pump me. Okay. Gunk shot is not a reliable way to beat to beat that. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling though that was gonna be the thing that happened. So unfortunately we don't get to use that energy, but uh, we found a bug steel. I actually think we found a good matchup. <laughs> well, okay, here's something that Drifflin beats. Here's something Drifflin actually does beat. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go straight Shadow Ball. The potato, the potato. But the blimp's actually pretty good here. I'll throw the shadow ball right away. They don't shield. They're either quitting or they're just farming me. Both things are true. You're thinking of running a Scavalier. A Scavalier I could see working. I can see a Scavalier working. Oh yeah, we're definitely we're definitely bringing the big boy back. We're definitely bringing the big boy back for the killing blow. Just as an aside. Yeah, I mean, they, they really helped us out a ton by shielding, uh, you know, an Azumarill Shadow Punch, but GG's. Uh, no, I did not win because of the balloon. I lo I won because my opponent shielded a Shadow Punch for no, no apparent reason, and then also brought a terrible Pokemon themselves in, in Fortress. <laughs> Those are the reasons we won. Drift Blim uh, would have been much better as Marowak there. If we had a Lola Marowak there, we would have just won harder. Left J, I haven't played in a week either. We're, we're just we're just doing pretty well for not having played in a week. All right, Anzim Ben, our last opponent in this set. Houndoom a ton? I'm not, no, no, Ozzy bro. Those are spicy as hell, but not really what I'm looking to do today. All right, Toxie, Tentacruel. All right, well, somebody's out fishing for Azu leads. So I like that. I have to keep an eye out for... So basically, like, they can definitely nuke you or they can acid spray you. The shield is great. The shield is actually excellent for us because now I know, for example, that I, I will shield. Like, there's no, there's no world where I won't shield this now. Yeah, I love, the, I love it, Bluesy. Yeah, there's the acid spray. That's kind of a bummer. 
but it doesn't actually Ooh, nice uh nice duck out so victory bell the upside is that we still beat victory bell soundly here and we'll get to farm it like that's a good duck out for them uh good count and all that sort of stuff but you know they're still gonna they're still they're still uh gonna have a lot of trouble here the other thing too is that um you know tentacruel only has one water move and it's hydro pump so it's not exactly an easy move to get to and i know they're on acid spray as well so we're just gonna like i don't know this could be hydro pump this could be hydro pump yeah okay good call good call good call nope they have their own alolan marowak okay so oh you know what i should have thrown uh i should have thrown shadow ball here if they don't shield this i'm i'm actually kind of in trouble okay good does the bait matter yeah the bait actually helped something was why okay fine I'll try and run wireless. All right, we got it. GG's. Poof. All right. What do you think about it only being Great League Halloween all week? I think it's great. I am not planning on running Yazlo or Galvan tonight. <laughs> so, another three and two vibes, I think. I think we got to three and two on that set. I mean, the team, our main team is still is still cooking. Ugh. But uh we've run we've run a lot of a lot of nonsense teams along the way too, so 